Welcome to today's tutorial. Today we will learn about isometric drawings. An isometric drawing is a type of 3D drawing that is set out using 30 degree angles. But starting here, I will assume you can easily draw a line, polyline and use commands trim, extend, move and copy. Before starting with the drawing we need to make sure we change the snap of our file to isometric. AutoCAD have a separate snap for isometric drawings, which makes it easy for us to draw, and it forces the lines to move at 30 degrees. Hence producing a precise drawing. To change the snap enter the command DS which is drafting settings. Then go to the first tab that is snap and grid. Under this tab change the snap type from rectangular to isometric. By doing so we can see the change in our grids, as the spacings of X grids change from 10 to 17 which means a square will look like a rectangular and a circle looks like an ellipse when seen at 30 degrees. Now another change can be seen in the cursor as it turn green and red. This means that our line can now only move in the green axis direction and in the red axis direction. Make sure to keep ortho mode on as it forces the lines to maintain 30 degree constraints. Use F7 key to turn on and off the grid display. Now here we understand the importance of isometric drawing. If we only have the top, front and right view of any drawing, it becomes difficult to visualize the 3D look of that object. But when we have a isometric drawing supporting all three views, then a person get a clear vision of how the object will look like in 3D. Now as soon as we change the settings our cursor will be changed. Remember that now our line can only travel in the direction of red and green lines provided our F8 ortho mode should be on. Now looking at the diagram we can see three faces. Top isometric plane, left isometric plane and right isometric plane. Use F5 to switch between planes. Now our line will only travel at 30 degrees. Again, our line can only travel in the direction of red and green lines, provided our F8 ortho mode should be on. We cannot turn F8 off. Now let us understand with example. We need to work with F5 and switch angles and use copy command to create similar things. Now we can create any face first and then proceed with the diagram. This was the top. Now right isoplane. And third we create left isoplane. Now we can copy the faces like this. Follow these steps. We will only use move, copy, trim extend. Remember rotate, array, mirror will give wrong results. Copy this at a distance then connect all the edges. Now remember the proper look will come when we delete the edges which will not be visible. Let us now draw circle in isometric. If we create circles using the normal circle, they will look like this which are not correct. That is called iso circle, and the command will be L press enter, and I then again press enter. Change the face of the circle by using F5. This way we can create isometric keeping in mind the object in real, and remember which lines or edges will be visible or not. If you face any doubt kindly use the comment section below. I will reply as soon as possible. 